So we tried looking at uh, what's happened to crafts. So in the general uh, kind of pervasive enthusiasm for process, uh, what you know, what's happened at the other end, especially when uh, culturally there is also a renewed enthusiasm for crafts. So we try to pursue, you know, what is craft craft being uh, situated often local, a type, a type of passed down knowledge, a sort of a historically embedded uh, knowledge, often um, skills, technical, but not necessarily just technical. Um, s talking about the difference between crafts and crafty. <laughs> um, actually, Tassos looked up the relation between the two words. It's a very interesting, um, you know, craft being about knowledge, respect, sort of the whole, uh, Bart suggested craft is a, has a social dimension, whereas crafty is an individual dimension. It's sort of shallow cleverness. So it was just talking about uh, also the relation of investment in materials, of knowledge of materials, how all of these things relate to process. And in the end, that's maybe about when process is shallow and when process is deep. Same thing with craft. Sometimes it's shallow, sometimes it's deep. Um, Gina brought up the relation of crafts to gender. I will pass the microphone to her. Yes, I was thinking about um, how craft uh, is usually, um, looking at historically, is something feminine, connected to femininity and functionality, um, and process is something more that, you know, connects to high arts and masculinity. Um, and then also, speaking of historically, um, I was just at the end, we, I kind of proposed the idea of like how even if you look at like fine arts, painting, uh, studio arts, um, maybe craft was much more overlapping process than now. Um, if you think about old style paintings, starting from when you had to make your own paint. Um, yes. 